Berkatha Yahweh, Berkatha Yahweh Shai, Kol Hulong Yama Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, on the way to worship the Father and the Son. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. So, Brother Mathaki from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And you can see on your screen, it's a steel shot. <clears throat> I'm not sure where the source of this shot came from, but a brother shared it. And it just shows you that Esau is trying to hide from his history, man. His bloody, murderous, uh, 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 um, death field uh, history, right? It says the trail of tears is erased. Your children's textbooks are not teaching history. All parents should care, all school boards, too. It says, despicable rewrite of history. The First Nations peoples agree to move to different areas to make room for the new settlements. As you can see down here, it says number eight, moving up. When the European settlers arrived, they needed land to live on. The First Nations peoples agree to move to different areas to make room for the new settlements. <laughs> right? Now, we all know that that's not according to uh, 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 what actually happened. That's not according to uh, 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 the facts and according to true history. They have a president whose name is Andrew Jackson, which was, uh, he had a title uh, called the Indian Killer, man. You see? Gad, the so-called Native Americans, was forcefully removed from their lands, man. See, but this is all Esau trying to uh, uh, hide from the atrocities that he has put forth, man. Just like when he he, he took the Southern Kingdoms, so-called Negroes, Right? On the slave ships, he tried to say they were indentured servants. No, man. They were forcefully taken and sold and beaten. Same thing you uh, 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 that this that this country did unto the so-called Native Americans, man. But let's get right into it. This is the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, the 16th verse. It says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. And this is what we're seeing take place. Right? See the whole world, man, is 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 is, is uh, uh, um, exposing this devil, for lack of a better word. This devil is exposed on a global level, right? To be the murderer, to be the uh, uh, the thief, to be the sick, base individual who's ruling this earth, man. And that shameful spewing is being spewed out. You see, he's trying to hide from that, but it, it, it's no hiding, right? What did the Lord say? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49 and 9. It says, if, if grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bear. So the Lord is like, I ain't leaving nothing unturned. I ain't, even, I ain't leaving nothing left. The Lord is exposing this devil to the fullest extent. You see? And that's why he's trying to hide. He's trying to look. Let's keep reading. It says, I have uncovered his secret places. Right. All, all, all those, those secret things and uh, his secret societies, all that is being exposed. And he shall not be able to hide himself. You see, his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors. And he is not. So it says what, man? He shall not be able to hide himself. Right. Because the Lord said he would destroy the face of the covering that was cast over all nations, man. This is the book of Isaiah 25 and 7. It says, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So this devil is being exposed for who he is, man, and for the atrocities that he has committed throughout the ages. That's why in the 47th chapter of Isaiah, let's jump to that. It's Isaiah 47 and 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. It's talking about America, right? Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. And, and we see and we see that happening throughout the earth, right? That America has been despised more and more. That uh, the so-called white man Esau, Edom, is being hated on every continent on this earth, man. Right? Because as we read in the book of Habakkuk, it says, what? The cup of the Lord's right hand is being passed over to this devil. Right. So that means the judgments of the Lord is about to come down upon Esau, Edom, man. And we see it uh, uh, um, happening on a small scale. And it's only going to increase more and more as as the transition of power is taking place. You see. 
See, the Lord is bringing uh, us out of our captivity. The Lord is raising us out of this hell hole. And, after, and simultaneously, he's putting Esau down out of his rulership and putting him into the hell hole, man. As it is written in the book of Luke, right? It spoke about how Lazarus, we represent Lazarus, the children of Israel, how we suffered and went through what we had to go through. While while the rich man, being Esau, Edom, he was able to live uh, uh, um, uh, 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 luxuriously, right? But now we now it's time for us to be comforted, and it's time for that devil to be tormented, man. And every last one of them, as it is written in the book of Jeremiah, it says all our adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Every last one of them. It's not going to be no lone Edomite <laughs> that's chilling somewhere. No, man. Every last one of their ass is going into captivity. It's verse two. It says, take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. And that's our Lord, Yahweh Shah returning, man. He's coming. He's returning in full power and might and glory of our heavenly father and with the host of uh, 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 the host of heaven, the angels coming with him. Right. But it says what? That thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. And that's exactly what's taking place. That's why you got this critical race theory going on and all this. Look, see. This devil is trying to hide from his history. And not only that, he's trying to uh, 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 stop the awakening of the Israelites. Because the things that we suffered, right? Us coming over here on slave ships, uh, 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 the so-called natives getting their land taken. <laughs> that's all according to the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. See, these are things that, that, that show and prove that we are the children of Israel. And he's trying to erase these things. You see that? Because the Lord said in the book of Daniel, this is Daniel 9 and 12. It says, and he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Look at the exception of America, man. They came here and slaughtered millions upon millions of the so-called natives that were here and disposed them, man. Took them. Uh, gave, gave them reservations put them in the, uh, uh, the poorest uh, weakest part of the lands while they took the rest man you see whenever in history you hear about that happening man to a whole nation of people right the conquistadors came over here and did what to the Aztec empire to the Inca empire right to the Mayans to the point where they say, oh, they, they all just disappeared. <laughs> what? Brought a whole nation of people over on slave ships, man. See, these things shows that we are the children of Israel going to the Deuteronomy 28. And really, we can start at verse 15 on down, but we just going to get straight to the point. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 45. It says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, till we be destructured. Look at, look, look, look at our nation now, man. It's without proper structure. The woman is ruling over the man. The children is all. Look. We have been destroyed, man. Meaning destructured. You see that? It says, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee this day. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. You see that? So it says that these curses shall be on us as a sign. It's the Hebrew word awath. Awatha. Awath. And it says a sign, a signal, a distinguishing mark. You see that? A distinguishing mark. So these curses came upon us and overtook us and we suffered these things showing that we are the children of Israel. That we are the children of the book. And this devil is trying to hide that. He's trying to cover that up. Not only is he trying to hide from, from his own shame, right, from his own wrongdoings, but he also is trying to hide history that shows that we are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. Now, let's go back. Let's see what we got here. This is a good one. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, right? And that's America, man. The well-favored harlot, right? Uh, years back, America was the place to be. 
It was the land of dreams, right? You could, uh, 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 everybody desired to come here to live their own life, to live after uh, uh, the way they, they wanted to live. We see what was happening in Afghanistan. All those people, <laughs> right, were trying to get in the plane to, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to leave. Why? Because in certain areas, it's still a, a, a structured after moral laws, man. Having a woman covered up and the man leading a household and, you know. And a lot of people, man, they got a taste of, 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 of what? The, uh, of, 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 the, um, of the cup, right? America's philosophy that it pushes. And now they, they, they caught up in it. They're drunken with it, man, as the scriptures tell us. Now they're drunken off the philosophy of America. And now they want to have OnlyFans. <laughs> you know? They want to twerk and do do all this, man. So America pushes that all over the world. So this is the well-favored harlot, man. Revelation the 17 chapter upon her forehead was written Mystery Babylon. This that this that's America. It's talking about this place here, right? And it says the mistress of witchcraft. Now, when you go into that word mistress, it's a um, uh, uh, the feminine way of saying master. So it's the master or the mistress of witchcrafts. That's all America does, man. Through its media, you know, through its uh, um, uh, uh, news media, news outlets, um, uh, radio, uh, TV, music, entertainment, all that, man. It's all witchcraft. All, all the way uh, uh, down to um, his technology. His technology and the things that he have, man. You know, it's all on the left-hand side, but let's keep reading. It says that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. You see? So that's what this this is what's happening, man. According to the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, it says, What? At the end it shall speak and not lie. And we're seeing it speak. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. So what we're seeing, we're seeing is, is what? These words jumping off the page, man. You know? We're seeing uh, uh, the voice of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah speak. The prophecies come into pass. And these things are coming to pass at an all time high, man. You know, all these different things that's taking place over the world, right? Uh, uh, the earthquakes, you know, the rumors of wars, the so called natural disasters. All these things is, 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 is showing forth that we at the end, man. You know, and, the, and we only have a couple uh, 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 prophecies left, you know, the implementation of the uh, of the uh, the MOTB, which is the RFID chip, according to Revelation, the 13th chapter, starting at the 16th verse. You know, we see these things taking place. We see uh, 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 the, this pandemic. Right. We're seeing that what, man, they're putting in measures, they're putting in plans in order for uh, um, uh, uh, to put in place. For the uh, MOTB. You know, we see through their policies and these different things of how it's being established, you know, and that's what at the end it shall speak. So this is the vision speaking, man. Right. World War Three over there brewing. You, you see what's going on in Afghanistan. Right. Uh, 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 now, all of a sudden, ISIS pop back up and all these different things. See, they're 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 playing toward the agenda, you know. They're playing towards, so that's what, that's, that's the prophecy speaking, man. Because we know that what, that it's going to start over there in the Middle East. You know, those four angels are loosed and they're preparing a way for those kings, man. To Har Armageddon, man, Harmagodwan, which is mountain of the troops. So we in beautiful times, man. That's why the Lord said what in, in 2 Thessalonians, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? The day of our Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. To see him crack those clouds, man. To see him come rescue us, right? 
It says that that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that happened, man. We all discontinued from our heritage. We all fell away. And now what? We're returning unto Yahweh about Sham Yahweh Shah. As it was prophesied in the book of Baruch, the second chapter, it says that we will remember ourselves and think upon the Lord's name in the land of our captivities, man. You see? This is the prophecies speaking. And it says, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And that's exactly what's taking place. This devil is being exposed. So once this devil is being exposed and his skirt is being lifted, then what? His destruction is coming, man. So we almost out of here. We almost out of here. Let me jump down. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Call halal Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. You know? As it is written in the book of Isaiah, it was uh, 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 the Lord said to give him no rest till he established Jerusalem as a praise in the earth. Right. So we got to continually cry out to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. But a part of that is also what? Exposing this devil, man. Lord, how long wilt thou allow these this this, this wickedness to continue? Lord, how long will you allow uh, uh, um, like uh, what happened in Canada, man? A couple, I want to say last month, they found they found a, a, a mass graveyard of children of Gadite children, man. You see. So it says the blood of the righteous crieth out to the Lord, man. So that's a part of this devil being exposed as well. So we got to continue to cry out, man. We got to continue to uh, uh, push forth these lessons. We got to continue to expose this devil, right? And continue to give the most high no rest until he takes this devil out of the way and he sets up Israel as the praise in earth. You know, um, but that's all I have through the spirit. You know, Lord willing, I hope this was edifying and encouraging. The water Yahweh by Shami Yahweh for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Barakah, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom.